Today I'm looking at the Wahoo Kicker Climb Gradient Simulator and the maximums and minimums it can simulate depending on the trainer that you have. The Wahoo Kicker Climb goes up and it goes down, adding more to the experience of riding indoors, which has been static for a long while now. In summary, regardless of the software that you're using, that Gradient Simulator will go up when you're going up a hill, it'll go down when you're going down a hill, and it will go, well, pretty much nowhere when you're riding on simulated flat ground. The technical specifications here on the Wahoo website indicate a maximum 20% grade simulation and a minimum of negative 10% grade simulation, but that does depend on a few things. Bike size, wheel size, it also lists trainer type. So that's what I was digging into today. What does it mean by trainer type, given the Wahoo Kicker Climb is only supported by Wahoo trainers? It turns out the answer is all about the rear axle height, and that's all to do with the Kicker Snap 17 or the Snap version 2, which is compatible with the Wahoo Kicker Climb. The Kicker 17 direct drive trainer, the Kicker 18 direct drive, and the Kicker Core direct drive are all leveled out with the rear axle height being the same as a bike with a front wheel on, so 700C. By default, you can change a few of those up and down, but it's all around the Wahoo Kicker Snap, which is the discussion point here about what trainer you have and what maximum and minimum gradient simulations the Kicker Climb can give you. The climb has a small notch or cutout indicating where level is with a 700C wheel. But if you're using a kicker snap, level is up here, a little bit higher, just over an inch, around about 35 mil. With both the rear and front axles now elevated to level on the kicker snap, that does change the maximum gradient of the kicker climb. You get a maximum of 13% and a minimum of negative 15%. Your nose is pretty much rubbing on the ground on negative 15%. Never fun times with that. Those with an eye for detail do know that the kicker snap will only go to a maximum of 12%, but the tilt capabilities of the kicker climb can go to that 13%. Also do note that within Zwift, your trainer slider difficulty setting will impact the physical gradient simulation that you have indoors. By default in Zwift, that's only set to 50%. So if you're seeing a 10% on screen, you may only be feeling 5% gradient simulation indoors. So be sure to set that slider all the way over to the right at 100% if you want the full indoor experience. Those who want to tinker around, there is a bit of a hack where you can apply a little bit of mathematics and get the full physical grade simulation with the trainer slider setting to wherever you want. I'll link below to my video on that. So there we are, something I've recently learned about the Wahoo Kicker Snap setup with the Kicker Climb Simulator that I thought was interesting and I wanted to share. Thanks for watching.